Hello everyone, welcome to the my 3D printer review video. Today we are going to review ANET A8 desktop printer right over here. We will talk about advantages and disadvantages of this 3D printer and then we will talk about who should purchase this 3D printer really and then the lastly we will talk about the print quality of this 3D printer. Let's start with the advantages and disadvantages of this 3D printer. I will put a chart here for you to follow up. The first advantage of this 3D printer is it is really cheap. The second advantage of this 3D printer is according to the price and print quality ratio, it is really high. And the third advantage of this 3D printer is it is really easy to develop on top of it so that you can add more abilities and it, you can develop it more for higher quality prints. Fourth advantage is while you are assembling this 3D printer, it will teach you the basics of 3D printing. The last advantage of this 3D printer is is it has a really nice Facebook group and they are super fast replying to your any problem that community will help you after you get this 3d printer and I put the link of this Facebook group in the description below so that you can check it out and first this advantage is you need the patience to deal with this 3d printer because it's going to give you some headache to come up with ultimate quality prints due to the price issue of course you can understand that the second disadvantage is it has an acrylic body its body is brittle so you need to be gentle with this 3d printer the third disadvantage is after you get the 3d printer you may not get the perfect prints right away so you need to develop this 3d printer thankfully i have come up with a video that will show you how to improve this 3d printer by clicking here you can watch how to improve this 3D printer for more ultimate quality prints. Also, I put an instructable link in the description below so that you can click on it and go and see step by step how to improve this 3D printer for ultimate quality prints by following those small steps. It will not cost you too much money, no more than 30 bucks. Of course, you can improve it more by spending more money. Let's move on to the question that who should really purchase this 3D printer? Basically, the person who is going to purchase this 3D printer need to be a patient person because you won't be able to get those high quality prints whenever you finish assembling this 3D printer. It's not going to be like an Ultimaker or the MakerBot because they are ready for the print and they are really expensive. So with this 3D printer, after you assemble it, you need to tune its settings to get the high quality prints and you can follow the video that I prepare for the improvements of this 3D printer so I suggest this 3D printer to the people who have patience and who have eagerness to learn basically I call them makers let's move on to the print quality of this 3D printer and let us look deeply into these 3D printer structures with this 3D printer after the improvement steps that I come up with so I print spheres, rings, triangle, rings, triangles and other stuff as well. So let's look at these 3D printed parts deeply. Okay, right now what I'm going to do is to show you how these 3D prints are in high quality. These ones in the back row, the six of them, are coming with the 3D printer as test prints and I print these ones. These are the various shapes that I come up with. Let's take our caliper, your caliper zero, and let us first measure the inner diameter. It is 14.87, it's supposed to be 15. And when you measure the outer diameter, it is 24.90 something. It's supposed to be 25 millimeter. Let's measure the thickness. It is 9.90, it's supposed to be 10 millimeter. So when we calculate, this ring has minimum of 0.4 error percentage. So let's look at our triangle. This is our triangle. It's supposed to be have 30 millimeter in the bottom. It is 30.35 millimeter. And this height must be 30 as well, but it is 29.44. And it is thickness supposed to be 10. It seems like this 10.61, 50, 60. So when we calculate the minimum error rate of this triangle, it is 0.6 percentage error. Let's look at our sphere. When we calculate the diameter of the our sphere is 29.85. 9.60 and when you cut it from here it is 
17 in the z-axis so when you make the measurements for this sphere it's come as 0.1 as minimum percentage error however since we are printing against the gravity when you look at the texture of this sphere you can see that going against gravity is not that much nice but when you look at the top surface it is really nice our cube which is one by one by one centimeter so it is 9.92 10.18 10.24 again when we calculate the error percentage it is 0.5 minimum of error percentage i provide more detailed error percentage in the instruct tables link in the description below so if you look at it you will see more detailed error percentages let's look at the, our octopus which is called Roctopus drummer Roctopus I take this STL file from Thingiverse and I put that link into the description below as well when you look at the layer it is really nice and it is hard to identify each layer it's not that much bad there are some hanging structures here this drummer stick is printed without support and it is really nice in here as you can see so this is acceptable this is very good job for this 3d printer let's move on to the models that are coming inside our 3d printer as test prints so this is baymax let's look at the fingers as you can see there are some problems with the fingers but the overall is really nice the men's sculpture that is coming with it and you can see the little hair coming from here face details could be better i didn't arrange the settings of these because their g codes are provided in the t inside the 3d printer but i don't have access to their stl files so i couldn't change the settings of these ones however but i changed the settings of octopus so let's look at the pyramid look look at the stairs it's really nice and you can see the doors of this pyramid and the entrance near entrance and this is another design that is coming up with it. It says chess, chess.g code, but I don't have any idea what is that. And this is the box, a simple box if you want to print. And this is the pencil box, so you can put your pencils in it. See these motifs are here, you can easily see them. As you can see again, if there is no in here this is again standing structure that is against the 45 degree rule but there are some hangings I also provide the links for the most needed spare parts the extra parts that you need if something bad happens the aluminum block the screw and the heaters and thermistors not right now I'm not showing the thermistors here but the thermistors so you can purchase these ones if something bad happen to your 3d printer and you can easily replace these parts very cheap as well this concludes my review for this 3d printer also i would like to thank the gearbest for making this happen if you want to purchase this 3d printer pla all the links are in the description below and they provide me a coupon code so you can put that coupon code as well also do not forget to join the facebook group for this 3d printer if you are planning to purchase it because those guys are amazing and they are replying really fast to your uh, problems and they are all around the world last but not least don't forget to subscribe to my channel i need subscribers to continue on this also please watch the other videos that i have prepared for anet a8 desktop printer click them watch them share your ideas share my videos let me know if you have any comments put them down below i will try to reply as much as i can see you guys until the next video bye